good morning. It's been a while since I've recorded. I've had a lot going on, but hey, don't we all? <laughs> anyway, so I just wanted to um, kick off uh, this video with a uh, thrifting with me at the bins. So I'm going to head down to Denver. It's going to take me about an hour to get there. I'll take you guys along. And then when I get back, we can do a... Um, a haul. So let's jump in. Hey guys, so I just left the Goodwill outlets. I got 80 pounds, 90 pounds. I'm out of breath because I just lugged it all into the car. Um, I think I got 80 or 90 pounds. I'm headed home. And then we'll probably end up doing a haul um, probably tomorrow, but we'll see. Stay tuned. Yesterday I drove down to Denver and spent roughly three hours sourcing inventory. So all of the items that I'm going to show you today are the pieces that I picked up from Goodwill, uh, from the Goodwill bins. So <clears throat> grab a coffee grab some snacks, get comfy, get your listings done while I'm going over my inventory and let's get going. Okay. So, um, like I said, this is going to be kind of quick because we do have 90 pieces to get through. So just bear with me. Um, I spent roughly $149. I picked up, I don't know why I keep saying 90 pieces. I actually picked up a hundred three pieces, 103 pieces yesterday for $149. I think that breaks down to roughly $1.44 per piece. So keep that number in mind as I'm showing you the items. Okay, so the first items that I'm going to show you, these are not the first items that I picked up. Nothing is in order aside from what needs to be washed, what can't be washed because it is brand new with tags. <clears throat> So I found these uh, Gilmore Girls boxed sets. This is uh, the complete second season and fourth season. So I thought these were a good find. I personally love Gilmore Girls and so does my husband. Uh, this next item that I found is just this really awesome tie-dye sarong wall tapestry thing. Uh, this is not being sold. This is going to get put up in the office somewhere. <laughs> I love this so much. Um, the next piece that I found, I've, I've, I haven't heard of this brand before. It's called CBR, Chic Boutique Rose. It's probably just one of the uh, well, boutique brands, but uh, new with tags. It is super soft, and I thought this was really cute. And now that I'm looking at it... This is kind of weird. There's like a butt. So it's a, it's a romper, if you didn't, if you couldn't tell. It's a romper with a hood. It's super soft. But the back of it, like, your butt is just right there. And it's, like, you can stick. Like, I can touch your butt because there's, like, holes. And it's not a pocket, but it's... Anyway, new tags, pick that up. Uh, this is a brand that I have not found at, um, we'll call it Out in the Wild. I have not found this brand Out in the Wild before. This is a brand new pair of Boston Proper. That's the logo, the label Boston Proper jeans. Um, I don't know what the style is, but it does have the style name. These are super long. Uh, this next brand, <laughs> I'm laughing because when I looked up the comps, I I probably left a poop mark on my shorts. Um, the brand is called Kim and Ono, O-N-O. It's just this gorgeous um, silk, maybe silk. It's not even silk, it's polyester. It's a um, robe. And so when I looked up sold comps, 
th this is a, um, I think a handcrafted um, piece made in like San Francisco. <sighs> New robes by this brand were going for almost $200. <laughs> so uh, used ones were around the 75 to like 150 range. Um, unfortunately, this doesn't have the belt, but I do, I know that I could probably list this for, you know, a decent amount. So keep that brand um, in mind. That was Kim... Kim plus oh no and when you go to um, Poshmark if you type Kim and like a and d oh no you'll find it okay so the next piece I found I grabbed it for a couple of reasons it's a sweater it's super cute with this um, detailing and then it's new with tags mauve lace side detailing just Kind of lightweight sweater it is by jones new york but it does have the brand new marshall's tag for 19.99 uh, the msrp on the jones new york tag is at 49 dollars. so i i don't know what i'm gonna do with this i haven't decided yet okay this sweater oh coffee break <laughs> okay this other sweater i found um Picked it up for a couple of reasons. It's a sweater. has this really cute zippered detailing on the back. And then the tag says Gigi Moda, made in Italy. So uh, things by this brand were kind of all over this place. This place, all over that place. But it was really cute. I like the little detailing on it. So we'll see what, what we can get for that guy. Never found this brand before. This is Altered State. Um, I feel like this is an anthropology brand, but I, to be honest with you, am uh, I am still learning about anthropology brands and, as well as free people because there's like a whole thing with both of those brands. There's brands within the brands, and so, uh. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Altered State, I think, is from Anthro. But it's this cropped bell sleeve, lace topped, just cute. It's like a cranberry color. Uh, I thought this was something better than it was, but it's really soft and comfy, so... I, I don't know. It may end up staying in my closet, but it's by the brand T by Big Star. It feels like soft, comfy, just cardigan. Okay, now we're going to jump into, I have one, I have a huge pile of clothes here. I have my accessories in my laundry basket. We're going to save the best thing for last, so stay tuned. Um, a couple of these pieces I'm probably just going to keep because either the resale value on them isn't quite what I want it to be, or it's just something that I've been looking for. So I think this might be one of those pieces. This is Forever 21 and it's, I say it's large, but it is extremely oversized. I'm typically like a 2X, 3X really in like boutique sizes, um, but this fits really well. I think it would look really cute with a long sleeve black long sleeve and some jeans just has oh, pockets just this oversized i typically don't pick up forever 21 styles on this piece i have is uh, the portland timbers this is their uh, soccer team and it's just a kids 4t little jersey thought that was cute. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep or sell these because your girl loves camo. Loves camo. Uh, these are brand new. Um, you can tell that they've never been washed, never really been worn, and they still have the little hang, hang tag from the brand. This is Cabela's, and these are just some camouflage sweatpants. So we'll see. We'll see about these. I haven't decided. Because there is another pair of sweatpants in here that I'm definitely 
going to keep. So, um, this brand is Title Nine. It's really hard to see the logo, but they have like three, three rows of three circles. Uh, and then this cute little tag down here at the base. And then if you flip it over, it says Avenger Await. So I thought that was really cute. Just a basic hoodie. Um, the brand didn't seem like it was anything crazy, but you know, 15, 20 bucks. Okay, so uh, Universal Threads is uh, one of the brands that Target sells along with, you know, Wild Fable, Who, What, Where, uh, so on and so forth. I personally am a fan of Universal Threads. They have a lot of like boho style flowy um things that I like wearing I grabbed this because I think it's absolutely beautiful I just I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because it's photographing it's gonna be a little bit hard um anyway it's a universal thread it's a 3x and it's a jumper so it's gonna be like check out those colors it's like mauve and purple and cranberry and black navy it's just it's beautiful uh it won't go for very much but it's just a piece that i love Next up is a pair of Hudson jeans. I find these occasionally and they do okay. Um, <clears throat> this is a size 27 and these are the Nico Super Skinny Mid-Rise. I've had these before, I've sold these before. I think they went for maybe 18 or 20, not too much. Okay, so obviously with Halloween coming up and Christmas, my brain is in, you know, picking up costumes and picking up just fun Christmassy things. So this is a Disney brand extra large adult onesie. And it's got mini and it has the cute little mini ears. And then it has the leopard print detailing on the uh, sleeves and wrists. So stuff like this doesn't go for very much for me, maybe around 20 to 25, especially because it's Disney, but it's still nice. It's still a nice little brand or a little holiday piece to keep in your closet. So I, kid stuff is kind of hit or miss for me. I really only pick it up if it's something super fun crazy colors, um, stuff like that. So uh, this was sitting on the top of the pile and it's by the brand Little Me and it's a size 3T. Obviously, <laughs> I picked it up because it is so stinking cute. It's just this cute little puffer jacket with a bow detailing in the middle. This, like I said, won't go for too much, but it's nice to just have those, you know, warm kid pieces in your closet for right now. Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret. Uh, so this is pink by Victoria's Secret. It's a medium and it's their pink hoodie. It's in okay condition. It has some pilling, but once again, people who wear pink typically seek it out and have no problem paying you know, for pieces like that. So keeping with the Victoria's Secret theme, I did find this uh, Victoria's Secret Angels, which is, I think, part of their Intimates collection. It's just cute. It's like silk feeling. Got that guy. Oops. Here. Piles. So continuing with the adult onesie theme this is by divided which is an h and m uh brand or sub brand this is a us size eight um has the hands right here these do glow in the dark has a hood it's just this really cool bodysuit with pockets so we'll see what happens to those guys That'd be fun to get posted. I did find several beer shirts, which is pretty funny. Um, and I'll, you know, 
obviously show you when I get to them. So here's one of them. This is the Sam Adams. Looks like it's just like a promo shirt. Here's another one. Coors Light tank top. Nothing crazy. Columbia. So I typically always pick up Columbia. It doesn't matter if it's like vintage or kids or what, because for me, the selfie rate on Columbia is pretty decent. So these are a women's size eight and they are uh, some kind of pants. And it looks like you can fold them up and they'll stay. So these are pretty cool. A little bread and butter. <coughs> I do find a lot of Columbia. Columbia, Patagonia, the North Face, Sorel living in, uh, I almost said living in Columbia. Living in Columbia. Living in Colorado. Obviously, we're a very outdoorsy, adventurous state. So finding these pieces is is basically like finding mall brands to me and I absolutely love it. Uh, this other brand that I picked up, you'll notice it doesn't have a tag here. So my brain was like, hmm, this feels, could this be Lululemon? I looked back here, I didn't see anything. I opened it up and I immediately saw this crumpled orange and yellow tag, which told me this is a Lucy piece. So Lucy is a, it's a, uh, I don't know if it's just women's, but I only have found women's pieces. It's just a, a, a mid to high end athletic wear. I don't think they're in business anymore. I need to do some more research on that to be honest, but their pieces are great. Excuse me. Their pieces are great. Um, they do have a relatively good sell through rate. And typically if you see like an orange um, line that is a Lucy piece. The next piece I have is from Adidas. It's this, I don't know if it's, is it RC or RSI? Arc, Arc, Arcs? I'm not sure. Golf. Um, zip up. Great condition. I honestly don't know if this has ever been worn. Uh, Adidas Extra Large, and we should all be familiar with the Adidas logo. Okay, I found not one, but two of these. Unfortunately, neither of them have the, uh, the belt that goes with them, but I still grab them. This is Ugg brand. I'll show you them. And they're both in size medium. This red, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it is like red, gorgeous red. Just a basic Ugg robe. Um, and then here's another little pocket logo. I pick up Uggs anytime I find them, as long as they don't have any rips or holes in them. If they have stains, they still sell, so I don't mind doing that as long as, obviously, it's at the bins. Usually, anything by Ugg is, <clears throat> in my opinion, a bolo, uh, which means be on the lookout. So, bolo brands are something that you should be... Um, you should be keeping an eye out for because they tend to do pretty well. So like I said, I got two of these. So there's one here and then the other one is down in the pile. This other piece I got, I have never heard of this brand before and I'm having a really, really, really hard time finding any information on it. So if you are familiar, if you know any information, any anything, please let me know. But the brand is, I believe that's Zoe or Zoe, Z-O-E. I, th I think that's what it says. It's this gorgeous lace duster. I love this. It has some like button beads. 
so I had a hard time finding any information on that brand but like I said drop me a comment below if you are familiar with it or know where I can find it so I love plaid I'm a very big proponent of plaid and flannel um not just this time of year but year round so um I grabbed these American Eagle plaid um like lounge pants they have pockets they have a butt pocket they're just I don't know super cool size small I got here okay if you guys have made it this far thank you so much if you haven't done so already please like the video and subscribe so the next piece I found is vintage um I'm kind of dabbling into the vintage pieces. I've got another piece um, hanging up on my, keep pointing like you can see, hanging up on my uh, rack of clothes right there. I don't know what I'm going to do with my vintage pieces, but I'm kind of just collecting them as I see them. So this is Flora Kung, K-U-N-G, the second, and then it says New York. Um, grab this for a variety of reasons, vintage, silk. It's a larger size, size 10. And how fun is this? It's cropped. It has big, oh, it's got a hole in it. I didn't notice this. Okay, let's keep going. So uh, going back to Free People, this was the other piece that I found yesterday. This is a small. Once again, that's what the logo looks like. This I don't think is going to look very well on camera because it's kind of frumpy looking, but I really like it. She's a gorgeous sweater. Does have pockets. It's like a dark teal, I think. Yep, there's that. This is a piece that I also might keep. I'm not entirely sure. I don't need it but I love it. Um, it was laying on top of the bins, at, like somebody had looked at it and then decided against it and thrown it back. And that's how I found a lot of my fun pieces. So I grabbed it on the way out. I didn't look at it. I didn't inspect it, nothing. I just threw it in my bag and said, eh, I'll deal with it on the way home. So it's just a Nike um, hoodie. It's It feels like it's never been worn feels brand new uh size large yeah just basic nike hoodie but i i have this weird obsession with black i love black uh, my closet is either black or like tie-dye so you get like this weird mix of rainbowy black stuff anyway Okay, the next brand, <clears throat> I think this is, yes, William Rast. William Rast is a, a designer, it doesn't have, it doesn't have a back tag, but it does have information on the pockets, can you can see that. Uh, these feel, you know when you feel a pair of pants and you're like, oh, these feel really high quality really nice really just good quality so this pair of pants was with the Nike sweatshirt it was kind of just on top so I swooped them up didn't know what they were the only issue I can see is that the um, the belt loop on one side is uh, broken but I've had a pair of these posted before I I don't recall if they sold because it was a while ago okay going back to the beer shirts beer shirts I like beer but the cool thing about this is that it has a bottle opener <laughs> on the t-shirt in the corner so when I found this shirt I was like oh this would be a really cute cropped shirt you could just kind of like crop it right underneath the beer and then it would look something like this and it would just be so cute. And then as I was looking at it, I was like, wait a second, I can't crop this because of the beer opener. So this is a 2X by the brand Brew City. We'll see what happens. I think that's the thing. We're just gonna see what happens with all this stuff. 
Okay, so going back to Nike, these are just some extra large sweatpants that I picked up specifically for moi. I love Nike sweatpants uh, because they're long and they fit me and they're just comfortable. So we shall see. Uh, okay. <sighs> My husband and I went to Greece in the end of July for our honeymoon. We got married several years ago, but we just hadn't had a chance or time or money or whatever to go on a vacation. So we were finally able to go in July. Uh, I tried to do some thrifting there, but it just wasn't working out very well. So eventually I'll go back and do another, you know, Greece thrifting attempt video or something. Anyway, I have a picture of me. I will insert right here. This is just going to be the picture inserting area. Um, I have a picture of me drinking this beer and because I'm a beer girl. I love beer. I especially love IPAs. So I fell in love with this brand of beer over in Greece called the Crazy Donkey. So <laughs> yesterday when I was digging 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 I found this shirt and I lifted it up and I was like no freaking way and I think the lady next to me thought that I found like freaking Gucci or something because all of a sudden she like looks up and looks over at me and I can feel her trying to like see what I found when all it was was just this stinking t-shirt <laughs> It cracked me up. So, unfortunately, this is a medium. It will not fit me. Um, so, I'll probably get it posted, but it just made me smile when I found that. Okay, so going back again to costumes and Halloween and stuff like that, I found this unicorn <laughs> jacket. It is by the brand Cat and Jack which surprisingly has been doing fairly well for me. When I pick up their pieces, they sell. Right now, uh, or recently, I sold a pair of their snow pants. I sold a pair of their um, snow boots, I think. So obviously, Cat and Jack doesn't have a really high resale rate, but pieces like this will definitely sell, especially right now. Okay, diddly do -kay. time for another coffee break. For those of you wondering, this is from The Human Bean, which is my local little coffee shop. And woo woo. Um, I love getting Americanos iced. This has a sugar free hazelnut and then just a little bit of honey. Just a little bit. Just. So, this is by the brand uh, Amerilis almost ready blog and this is listed as a size medium large i've never heard of this brand before but chunky knit sweaters with this gorgeous detailing tend to do pretty well especially right now i looked it up online and the resale value of this brand was it was okay but because it's a chunky knit sweater with the detail and it's oversized it will definitely sell I love fun and funky pieces, as I've mentioned before. Um, okay, so this is by the brand Say What? Uh, it's a small, it's blue, it's fuzzy, it's furry, it's amazing. It is missing one of the little, uh, you can see like eyelets right there in the middle, but honestly, something like this, people generally don't have you know, closed up anyway. So I sold uh, the same vest in a different color, I think for around 20 or 25 last year. So yeah, grab this. I know this is a fun brand. So this is the other Ugg robe. Let's move these closer. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me this far. Uh, drop me a heart a heart a heart in the comments if you've made it this far i would really appreciate that so the brand loft loft by ann taylor to me in my head when i see loft my brain goes mall brand 
and it's kind of a mall brand but some pieces aren't so I am venturing into the loft world so um I picked this up because chunky knit sweater that's what loft by Ann Taylor looks like this is a size medium gorgeous okay this is a kids it's like a wearable robe that you can put on when you get out of the pool or the shower it's like a terry cloth material and it has the little mermaid on it this is also by disney and it's a size they have it listed as a size 910. So this is from the Disney store, which is different than the other Disney piece that I found. Here's another Lucy piece. Oh. So it looks like they do have Lucy written on the back. Um, I can't find a size on this, but it looks like it's a small. It's a, it's a workout tank with a built-in bra. Like this is, this will hold you in for sure. Sorry, the brand is called Yellow is Gold by Sunshine and Shadow. It's a size small. When I looked this up, I believe this is from Anthropology. Um, and it's silk. So comps on this were, this particular dress were like 20 bucks maybe. But once again, since my cost of goods is a mere $1.44, I can definitely post it at 20 and be okay with that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it though, but the next piece is a brand by Coliseum. The size tag has been kind of like scratched out, but it feels like a small or medium. And pieces like this I always pick up if it has like, um, you know, a state or a, a sports team or something on it. So that guy, there's another one, Texas. I believe, I believe in a thing called love. I believe it was Lori of Lori's Boston Found. Shout out Lori, because I love you. Uh, she was mentioning how anytime she finds Dre, Dre, Dre Crew, anytime she finds J Crew cashmere, there's usually holes in it. So uh, kind of kept that in mind. Digging, digging, digging. I saw the tag that said J Crew 100% cashmere, and my brain went, please don't have any holes in it. So this is what the tag looks like, and this is what the sweater looks like, and I did not see any holes or snags in it. It's beautiful seafoam green. I did see one other same style, same color listed. I don't remember what it was selling for, but I did see them out there. Okay, so this is another piece that... Be right back, I gotta take care of the dogs. Okay guys, I am back. Uh, for those of you who do not know, we have two Great Danes and a Chihuahua. Our Great Danes are both under the age of two. Our Chihuahua is four and they are a handful, but I absolutely love them. So jumping right back in. Um, this is the brand Lily J London. Once again, never heard of this brand, but it's soft, it's fuzzy, it's furry, and it's something that will probably fit me. So when I looked up the comps, they were uh, all over the place and I didn't find this specific uh, vest. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, obviously since Christmas is coming up, I'm picking up every ugly sweater, every Christmas themed thing that I can find in which Includes this adorable little like Santa's helper dress. This is by the brand Well Worn Holiday Sweater and it is an extra small. So I just thought that was adorable. Okay, so touching back on Loft, this is also Ann Taylor Loft. This is a size medium. There's the brand. 
This is a, it looks like a jacket. It feels like a shirt. I would probably wear it under or over like cute tank top or something. But it does look maybe a little bit more on the cropped side. <clears throat> I hemmed and I hawed about this piece. Um, okay, so this is Disney, but how freaking cool are, is this? The colors are amazing. Um, the back, I know what it looks like. It's very cracked and, you know, kind of crumbled, but I feel like it looks cool like that. Uh, I want to list this as a vintage piece. It's because of the colors. I don't think it is. It's listed as a size small and it is definitely from Disney. But I can't find a date on here. So I'm going to have to do some research on the style number and see. But like I said, how cool is this for like a diehard Disney fan? This vintage Mickey jacket. And I love it. Ugh. Okay, so we've got two more pieces in this pile. I have a laundry basket. I just have a, not a couple more things, but we're, we're almost there. Getting there, getting there. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. I think they put a little extra something in my coffee this morning because your girl's feeling good. So this is the brand Under Armour size extra large it is a ladies well here let me show you the brand under armor <laughs> it's a ladies extra large uh we'll call it a snowboarding jacket except 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 this is from their cold gear line and it has something called Rico, which is advanced rescue technology in the jacket. So I think what this means is there's like a, like a radar or something or another in here. Is that gray hair? Ooh, sparkles. Uh, I think this has like um, Echo technology location something or another in the jacket. I need to do more research on that particular uh, spec, but from what I could see, <clears throat> this jacket's in really good shape. It has a couple little little smudgy pieces, but honestly, it's in a great condition. Um, so that Rico, Rico, Recon, Rico technology. I am not entirely sure how it works, but I know that there's something in the jacket that helps people locate, helps the rescue team locate you if an avalanche happens or you're buried or you're lost or something. So to me, that smells like um, extra profits with this jacket. Ugh. And the last piece of clothing is by a brand Low. Alpine, L-O-W-E, Alpine. This is what the tag looks like. So it's made in Canada. So um, th this piece is so thick and soft and big and my size. I don't need it, but it is my size. How... How cool is this? I don't know if the like material, there we go. It's picking up on camera. Um, <clears throat> comps were once again all over the place on this particular brand. I think because I'm, it's a Canadian brand. I need to, I don't, can I check Canadian Poshmark? I need to check and see how that works. Cause I know, anyway, we'll check that out. Oh, one more piece. Uh, outdoor Research is a very expensive outdoors brand. Uh, these particular shorts retail for 70 yes, $70, $70. Uh, they look to be almost brand new. They are size 35, so we'll check those guys out. So that's it for the clothes. 
the accessory portion of the haul should go by relatively quickly. So like I said, thank you so much for sticking with me. This is a 103 piece haul found at the Goodwill bins slash Goodwill outlets that I picked up yesterday. Total cost of goods for everything was $149 uh, divided by 103 pieces gives an average cost of goods at about a dollar 44 per piece so i found these brand new wigwam um like wool socks i am not going to sell these i'm either going to keep them myself or give them to one of my friends uh this is another brand that i've never found before so this haul was really great because I found a lot of pieces that I have either been searching for and have never found in the wild or um, they're brands that I'd never really heard of that made me do some research and turned out to be brands that I should really be keeping an eye out for. So Bowden is a brand that I personally have never found, but I know lots of resellers do find. These are just some cute, um, they're like a rose gold mauve colored um flats they are in a size eight and they have very minimal wear on them the funny thing is is these actually came from goodwill um and they have the goodwill price tag of 15.99 on them so we'll check out comps and go from there so this is with the bins, you get all kinds of random stuff housewares and clothes and shoes and trash and just all kinds of stuff. But this is the Diva Curl brand, Diva Fuser. Uh, so you connect this to your hair dryer. And then when, I only know this because I watched some, I was looking at doing the curly girl method a couple years ago. Um, and stumbled upon this tool. So you put it into your hair dryer. And then when you're blow drying your hair, you kind of do this. <laughs> and it like creates these curls these are just from a braid but you just it just creates these curls so this is something that I personally have been looking for for a long time I'm not sure why because I never blow dry my hair but maybe now that I have it I'll try it and see otherwise it will it'll get sold uh this is a wonder bra in size <laughs> it's so petite 36A, uh, ain't no shame in the small titty game, I tell you what, I just am saying that because this will, I'm, I'm not a part of that game, I'm part of the other game, the big titty game, so, <laughs> so this, I just thought was so cute, um, that definitely is dog snarf from my dog, thank you, Rigby. <laughs> I and for your information I put in all my listings that everything ships from a dog free home and this yes gets washed speaking of dogs I found a Kurgo um, harness which is a, an expensive brand and then it also has this nice leash I love this leash personally this type of leash because uh, with our Danes they are very tall and I myself am very tall so uh, basically, when I stand up, my hand will sit on their backs, so I don't have to bend over to pet them, and um, a leash like this works really great because it's just right there at a good level for me. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but that unfortunately will not, the harness won't fit either of the dogs, but I might keep the leash. So, uh, the North face this is just a cute little hat I'm pretty sure this is like a child size because this is pretty small but I know once this gets posted it will absolutely sell because anytime I post anything by the North Face or Patagonia it sells quickly uh I picked up a Dekine surfing style hat um hats surprisingly do really well for me a lot better than I really ever expected so I pick them up all the time because they're so lightweight at the bins and you know making 15 plus dollars profit on something is awesome so this is a brand called escaping the sun and style by et etsis uh 
I'll check it out. It feels like it's great quality, and since it's adjustable, something tells me it probably retails for a uh, pretty penny, so these guys are actually both going to get washed. The next one I found is Hurley. This is cute. Uh, beanie style with a brim. Uh, I picked this one up because it says two things. Made in Italy and it's wool. This is a cute little pomp beanie style hat. Uh, it, does, it doesn't have a brand, so we'll see. But something like that is cute and this one is for me i'm keeping this one <clears throat> this is by the brand cc which i personally love i love their beanies i love their hats everything because everything fits me really well um but this is just a beanie with a brim so i have a basic beanie that doesn't have the brim but now i've got one with the brim okay jumping into purses ladies and gentlemen i scored with purses yesterday, I picked up 14, 15 bags. <laughs> and yes, this is a Led Zeppelin t-shirt. I personally love t-shirts. I wear them all the time. I love band t-shirts. I only wear band t-shirts though, if it's a band that I actually listen to and Led Zeppelin, mm, amazing. Okay, jumping into the bags. This is what I'm going to list as a vintage Cynthia Raleigh leather bag. It opens up this way, it opens up this way, and then you have the entire length of the bag. I don't generally pick out a Cynthia Raleigh, but leather bags sell. I thought this one was pretty cute. That's what that looks like. This next one is by Hobo, H-O-B-O, and I don't know if you can tell that's what the label looks like. This is just basic, simple, travel type bag. I really like it because this thing opens. So this is the purse, okay, you've got the front and the back, and then this guy opens like this, and then this is like a full wallet. So you really... You don't need to bring your wallet. You've got this thing. This is leather and noise. Okay. This purse, funny story about this. I was laying on top. I saw a guy go over to the, oh. Oh, leather. I saw a guy go over to the bins, pick up this bag, look at it in disgust, and then throw it back. As soon as he threw it back, I jumped up from my pile of stuff that I was going through. I yanked it, threw it into my pile, and called it good. I didn't do any research on it until I got home, but I, something told me that it was nice. So, clearly it smells like leather because I can't stop smelling it. Let me just tell that. Um... I'm pretty sure this is brand new. There's no purse gunk in it. Um, it is by the brand Marino Orlandi. And it says made in Italy and genuine. Genuine leather. There's that. Anybody else think of the rapper Genuine when you say Genuine? Because that's what my brain thinks of. Genuine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I had a little early 2000s rap moment going on okay so comps on this particular brand were whoo a couple hundred at least um i have not found this particular brand but when you went to their website the purses are listed anywhere from like three four five hundred all the way up to a couple thousand um but they do have all of the pricing in euros i think because it is italian so i had to do the conversion but this brand this purse is gorgeous <sighs> my little hoarding purse brain says keep it but i i don't need it okay 
Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure I woke up and it was 2003 again because I sold a juicy purse this morning on eBay and then I found this one yesterday at the bins. So I'm just waiting for basically um, Paris and Nikki to, uh, you know, go out on the farm again. <laughs> Do you guys remember when they did that? Uh, okay, so Juicy Couture. This purse... I feel like it's brand new. I feel like it. It's doesn't look like it's ever been used or worn. And honestly, I really like it because I, like I said earlier, I love black. I love pink. Pink is my favorite. And then it has this J back here. So I'm definitely going to get it posted, but <clears throat> 2000 vibes. That's like high school. That reminds me of high school. I know I'm dating myself, but whatever. Okay, Fossil. Fossil is a great brand for the most part. Um, this is a gently used um, fossil, leather fossil bag. I was just looking to see how the inside was. That's the tag. Uh, this feels, I guess it's my favorite word today. This feels vintage. Um, but it's just, it's nice. And it's got this uh, beautiful fossil keychain attached to it I love it I'm a sucker for leather leather good smelling leather oh I love it speaking of good smelling leather this is another brand Nino Bossi B-O-S-S-I genuine leather uh once again this It's been used, but very lightly. Um, this is a gorgeous crossbody bag. Here and here. Uh, brand, this brand was like a couple hundred, I think, new. So I need to look into it to get exact comps, but it, like, I just, okay, that one doesn't smell as much like leather as the black one does, but still. Okie dokie. The Sack. S-A-K. This is a brand that I will pick up at the bins, but I generally do not pick up from Goodwill because Goodwill thinks they're being tricky and they mark it up to like $7, 10 $15. And I'm like, Goodwill, Goodwill, what are you doing to me? So <clears throat> this is what the brand looks like. The sack. I feel like I can personally spot uh, the sack purse from like a mile away, but mm -mm -mm. this is cute. That's what the front looks like. It's just this basic leather crossbody. This guy. This guy is okay. It's crossbody, but then look. Oh, you're traveling and you need to keep your passport and all of your plane tickets and all of your credit cards with you? What? This is beautiful. Beautiful. Um, I can't find any brand on it, but I got it because I can list it as like a travel wallet, which will pull up. Um, that's good. Those are good keywords to use for something like this. BOC. So I, BOC is a sub brand, I believe, of Born, which is a medium to high, primarily comfort shoe brand, but they also have purses as well. Um, I think the BOC is more like of the affordable, it's like Born and then BOC. I think I could be wrong, but this is what the label looks like. B O C, and then you can also see it on the buckle right there. A uh, basic brown crossbody leather bag. I like it because this opens up, and once again, you can have your full wallet right here. So you don't need to have your wallet inside your crossbody. Your crossbody is basically your wallet. Okie dokie. So Bagalini is also 
like the sack. I will very rarely pick it up from the Goodwill or thrift stores because they generally tend to mark it up a little bit higher than I want to pay. But if I can find it brand new, which I did at the bins, then I will definitely pick it up. So this is just a gorgeous tote style bag. It has pockets upon pockets upon pockets, which is what Bagolini is known for. You see all of that. And then that is the Bagolini brand. So brand new, never, never used. Um, once again, Hoarder Brain is saying, keep it. I don't need it. <clears throat> so growing up on the central coast of California, um, we were very close to the beach. So all of the surfer brands, uh, Dekine, uh, Roxy, Billabong, those all hold a sentimental value to me and they definitely take me back to when I was growing up. So when I found this gorgeous, there's the Roxy brand right there, Roxy brand like tote bag, I, I grabbed it. Um, it's definitely not in the best condition. There's some stains. Um, but it was too cute not to pass up for $1.44. <laughs> so this is another brand that I've never personally found before, but this is the brand Helly Hansen, and this is one of their backpacks. Um, Helly Hansen, I think, is like a, uh, snowboard outdoorsy type of brand. Um, when I looked up the Helly Hansen backpacks, I couldn't find this particular one or this specific one, I should say, but their backpacks were pretty good. 50 to 70, maybe, maybe more. Um, but this is what the logo looks like. It's usually just two big HHs. I think that makes sense uh, for Helly Hansen. There's that guy. This caught my eye for a variety of reasons. It's leather. It's black. It's brand new with tags. I was like, whoa, this is a big handle for this small little bag. So I opened it up. I was like, what? This is weird. And then this part comes out and I was like, oh my goodness. This is a conceal and carry purse. So this is a holster for your weapon of choice. It goes in here somehow. I'm not entirely sure. And then on this side is your purse area. So there's a crossbody strap. Um, this is by the brand is Roma. Roma Conceal. Um, they do still have this available on their website. Roma Conceal. There we go. They had it listed for 45 I think. Uh, brand new. So nothing crazy, but, you know, conceal purses are kind of hard to come by. And they, I think, do pretty well um, because it's something that somebody's seeking out. It's not just like, oh, I'm going to buy this purse today. It's, no, I'm specifically looking for a conceal and carry bag. Um, this other piece is by Banana Republic. It is a cool weaved looking tote bag. I am just now kind of getting into Banana Republic. Once again, going back to like free people. It's just something that I never war growing up mostly if i'm being honest they just didn't have any size uh so i didn't really know much about them until i started doing resale so banana republic definitely sells i think it was a puffer quilted puffer vest that i just sold of theirs i have some other pieces too but you know you pick them up and they, they do pretty well so uh this is what was this h&m express so this is an express scarf typically not something I would pick up but I came across it um I like the little lion and it's just it's nice quality 
This is something I'm probably going to keep. Um, this is by Jacqueline Smith and it's listed as a one size fits. Let's try that over. One size fits most. And it's a, like a scarfy thing. You know. Um, <clears throat> I don't like being cold. So that's why I got it. So we got all of this. Okay, we're getting down. I have two more things. And I want to give you guys a huge shout out for sticking with me on this crazy hundred piece haul. Okay, one second. Okay, so I'm only gonna show you one of these because I already have them uh, broken down by color and in the bag, but, and then I'll insert a picture of me being really excited, but check out this yarn. This is for those uh, big, chunky hand uh, crocheted blankets. So I found, I found red, I found gray, and I found blue. Y'all, these were like in a bin, weaved in with a bunch of hangers, and I literally just like swarmed the bin, and I started pulling on the balls of yarn so I could pull them out. And then this sweet little lady came up, and she was helping me. It was so nice um those I don't know what brand they are but uh brand new skeins of yarn seem to be going between 15 and 25 per skein and I have four eight, I have like 12 15 of them maybe so I have them broken down currently by color and I'm I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them but I I knew that I had to find them. Okay guys. This I'm not going to open it because it's brand new. It's already in the box or the bag. But it's ugh, it's a 20 pound Did you hear that? 20 pound weighted blanket. Uh, the band, the band, the brand is called Bear B. That's oh, right here. B E A R A B Y. Um, this was in the bins with all the clothes, and I looked, and my brain said that's like a linen uh, bag. You should probably grab that to see what's in it. So I picked it up. I saw this. I'm like, this just feels high quality. I got back to my little sorting area, and then I saw the tag. Oh, I saw the tags. So this particular blanket is uh, listed as the napper. And it says, meet your new Bear B napper. Hand knitted, perfectly weighted, and here to recharge your body whenever and wherever you need. I went to their website, you guys. This... 20 pound weighted blanket retails for $279. How crazy is that? I lugged it up to the counter to see how much it weighs. She's like, oh, it weighs 20 pounds. And I was like, can you charge me for like the heavy item price? Which is 49 cents a pound rather than the dollar 49 a pound, I think I paid. She's like, yeah, that's no problem. So she's like, how does $8 sound for this? I said, you know, I think I could pay $8 for this blanket. No problem. <laughs> so technically this blanket was $8. But when I take that $8 and I combine it with the total of everything else, technically I spent $1.44 on it. So um, I checked eBay. eBay has one listed currently. I think they had it listed for around 200, but they have so many solds, so many solds. So what that tells me is as soon as I get this listed, it should sell relatively soon. So, okay guys, that is the end of this 103 item Goodwill Bins Outlet Haul. Whew. This video is probably like an hour long. So I truly appreciate you guys for sticking with me this long. 
I'm Jessica, this is Parman's Pickens, and as always, let's get thrifty.